defense mechanisms. Are they good or bad? Grow your capacity and discover how your defense mechanisms work, how we use them, and how it impacts us with Lifa and Ziggy. I smell coffee. Ah, <laughs> I hope you're enjoying the smell. Oh, I'm enjoying it. It's almost like drinking it. <laughs> <laughs> it's not the same sensation. But this coffee is in my compartment. Eh? It's in your compartment, which is an interesting concept because that's the defense mechanism we're covering today. Com- Bear with me. Yeah. Compartmentalization? Oh, compartmentalization. Well done. Yes. Well done. That was a good uh, effort. That was a well tough one. I tried. Even <laughs> <laughs> for effort. <laughs> so yes, um, even though I can't say it as well as I would like to, I know what it is. There you go. That makes it good. Yeah, so it yeah. makes it. So it's when an individual, you know, an individual like you or I or anyone mm. else of the 7 billion people on this earth, <laughs> decide to separate elements of their life into different compartments so that they can better navigate them. So, mm. so it becomes a bit, you know, to ensure that nothing overlaps. That's yeah. the type of defense mechanism. And yeah. what do you think they gain from that? I think what they, they try to gain is that, you know, because of that, they can stay steady in what it is that they're focusing. So like if work is work and home is home, mm. then therefore they never interlap. So mm. therefore uh, you keep your work emotions as work emotions, your more home emotions as home emotions. I think the problem is they always into life. <laughs> yeah. yes. It's crazy how many times I've heard people say, I've got my home life, I've got my work life. And yes. it, there are even so many theories out there, work life, home life, mm. home and work life balance and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. Um, I think it's your brain trying to save energy. Uh, because if, if, you, if you simplify things, um, mm. connected to the, the law of simplify, all right. if you just simplify things, it's easier to cope with it. Mm. The challenge is that we only we don't only do that with um, areas of our lives. We do that with people as well. Mm-hmm. So we we say these kind of people are the same. Those kind of people are the same. Um, it, the work expects me to be this kind of person, person. Uh, which connects to rationalization. Okay. And home, I'm expected to be this kind of person. Okay. Um, and it, this whole compartmentalization thing causes us to uh, try and live separate lives, mm. but also it justifies our way of be- behaving towards individuals within those separate oh, lives. Because we, because separate. we've like simply we've used the law simplify and we put them us and so forth. Mm. Maybe we treat them a certain way. For instance you wouldn't be as compassionate with your colleagues because you say it's compassion for your home life. That's yes. where compassion is here was serious, no compassion. Yeah, like yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. So th- this is why you sometimes have someone that you think, oh, you know, there's, there's the, 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 the poor family that needs to live with this exactly. guy. And he's such a loving father mm. and he's a, such a loving husband. But when he's at work, he is like the devil himself. <laughs> like... People don't know how you can even mm. live with this person. Definitely. They were praying for his <laughs> <laughs> They're calling so they're calling childlike peace. Yeah. He must be abusing his children, I'm sure. <laughs> why, why would you say that? Because he's abusing us. <laughs> okay, yeah. So yeah, I think the challenge here is that it justifies. Mm. It justifies a certain behavior. Um, similar, uh, very similar to the rationalization. So you believe that you have to act in a certain way here and there, yeah. and therefore that could harm you because, for instance, um, if you believe you have to be a oh, strong individual, and then you, you, that outlet is that you can't be you, you. What is the word I'm looking for? You can't for? be real. You, you can't, can't be, be real, authentic. authentic. Yeah. And then that can take a toll on how you you feel. It it does take a talk because in your subconscious, you know that you are not the person that you should be. Uh Um, Either you're not the person we were using the example of being kind at home Mm -hmm. and aggressive at work. What if you are generally an aggressive person, Mm -hmm. you would be kind at home and then displace the anger that you've got here on Onto your colleagues. colleagues. Ooh, look at that. The defense mechanisms are connected. Yeah, 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 yeah. So it, it just causes so much chaos when you start to, to uh, compartmentalize Definitely um, so. different areas of your life and different people. Uh, so I think mm-hmm. the insight here is probably to be to have more, to not 
divide things and have proper like broader perspective on things to understand that there is there is no simplification to it like you know mm. these characteristics can be at work and these things can be at home and so like yes, yes. like there is okay there's certain you know boundaries but not hard compartments i suppose yeah and the challenge here is as we said before you don't really deal with specific issues and and things that you need to be dealing with mm -hmm. to become a more balanced and healthy human being right. um, and because of that you you never move forward as you should mm -hmm. and, and and a lot of these things also happen because of things we've heard in the past um, that were based on um, mechanical models for workplace mm -hmm. um, and things we might have heard in the past about being a parent, being a spouse and whatever. Um, and I think it's important just to, to challenge yourself on what am I thinking about that? And is it actually rational? Um, I have had um, clients that thought that if they become more approachable at work, then all the wheels are going to come off. <laughs> okay. And uh, nobody's going to respect them anymore. Ah. And, and that causes them to compartmentalize like that. Mm. But I found that the opposite was true. As soon as they could be balanced, they could actually balance their, their life in both areas better. Mm. They would have less un underlying anger and they'd be far more effective. Okay, fair enough. That does make so much more sense because, especially when you say that it is the law simplifies at play, you saw that how the boss assumed that they would just like you know if I give them the hand, if I give them a, what is it, the finger, they'll take the whole arm. And so yeah. Forth. But he was mistaken, yeah. obviously, because of that blanket policy he placed there. This is wonderful insight of right. that great word that only you can say. <laughs> <laughs> so can you say the next one? I can say the next oh, one. Oh, well, that's good. But which is funny because they end also with the shin in it. So oh, in the okay. next episode, we're doing intellectualization. Intellectualization. Mm -hmm. Since you're so intellectual, mm -hmm. you'll probably enjoy it. Nah, I probably would. <laughs> or not. I could compart my life. <laughs> I tried. No, I couldn't. I thought no, I could no, slide no, it in. No, no, no. uh, I'll, I'll, com I'll continue, like, you know, growing, practicing, practicing in the yeah. mirror. Compartmentalization. <laughs> Almost. All right. Ciao, ciao. <laughs>